walked in here today, you had an aim, didn't you? You had a focus, an aim. And what was that? What was that focus? To make the ball spin more. Make the ball spin more. What's the What's the one thing? Cause when we started, you you came out of a really good point, didn't you? Turn your hips. Yeah, and what what do you want to compare that to? You, you had a great comparison. Uh, to hitting the ball at the park. So batting. Yep. So a bit of power hitting. Mm. And that, so how do you power hit? Go on, show me your power hit. Show me what your right hip does when you power hit. Okay. So what's happened to that foot? It's gone up like a goal shot. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you think you can maybe try and get that into your bowling? Yes, George. Give it a go. And then. We're looking to see how much it spins, and what else are we looking for? How much, uh, how much flight and pace. A bit of pace, see how it spins in the pace. I'm just looking really at his, at getting his hip involved in his, in his bowling action. So he's coming with the aim that he wants to spin the ball bigger, because um, he's been bowling, he's, he's pretty fresh to bowling off spin but it wasn't spinning so one thing he wants to do is he wants that ball to spin because that's going to keep him coming back uh, and keep him bowling it and he came up with a really good thing of he wants to get his hip going through 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 the action and he's really he's linked it brilliantly and it's come purely from him from some power hitting work he's done uh, a couple of weeks ago about really engaging that right hip and what he's starting to see is his pace is his pace is good it's sitting at around about 32, 33, and his spin has gone up. And we're going to be, well, we really look forward to get the deviation um, which the Pitch Vision software can offer us. Lovely. Right, come on. Look at that screen. You need to look at that screen because that was a belter. Deviation is, that was the 4.4, was it? Yep. 4.4 is a lot. 4.4. A lot. Brilliant. And what pace was that? I don't know, I can't remember, 32. 32. 32. So you can see 30, 32, 33, that seems to be your pace, doesn't it? Yeah. 4.4. That's That's better than decent. That's unbelievably good. Yes. Because if you think about it, you know, if you think about it, sometimes we turn up, don't we, and we, we, we have the aim of spinning the ball more. But we don't necessarily have a way of measuring it, do we? So it's just off of maybe your opinion. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like it's spinning a bit more today. But you've seen today that you are definitely spinning it more, aren't you? And now you're starting to get numbers. You found, you found a nice pace, haven't you? Yep. So brilliant stuff. I'm loving watching it spin. Yeah. Youngie's got a co bit of competition. Youngie's going to have to try and spin it more than him, more than you now, Was. Hey. But it's not necessarily spinning as much as you'd like, is it? Yeah. So when you're in position, so if, if you're my target, what we're seeing is that left foot across, isn't it? And this right foot's behind you, and the right hip is backwards. Now we know the right hip's pretty important, isn't it, for producing, yeah. producing power when we bowl fast, power when we hit the ball out of the ground. So like the pack, you know, you hit the ball miles, and that's because of your right hip, isn't it? And we also there's a lot of research now, and what we're finding is that it's bowling spin that right hip's really important. So one thing that we've seen, and we've seen it with Ned, haven't we? Ned tends to bowl with his right hip a bit further forward and the amount of spin that he started to generate from having that. Yeah. Harry, right hips, right hip, right hips, not necessarily behind him, it's a bit further forward. It can then, has got a clear way to dry through yeah. and spin, spin through. So I'd like you to try and get that right hip a little bit further forward and keep it moving. And let's see what happens. You never know, you might, su you might surprise yourself right now. Yeah. All right? That's perfect. Because we're, we're we're trying something, aren't we? Yeah. So if we're going to try something, then we just got to give it a bit of time. Got to be patient. Right, Youngie, let's have a look at that reading. 
Mind the map. Paul Sayer paused at doing something there with one of the bowlers. Yep. It's 31. And then something else. 1.0 deviation. Did you pause it? Really so let's see if we can get that up next time. Is that 1.0 deviation? Yeah. Cool. Take a bit of time. And yeah. we, have got a bit, we have got some time. And today's really been a little bit of exploring that, hasn't it? Because you wanted to get more spin on the ball. And, it's, you know, and that's what you've tried to do, and you're exploring it. And part of exploring it is that you might actually get a result that you're not expecting, positively or negatively. Yeah. All right? That's part of your learning.